Hello YouTubers, I decided to make new dividers for my Filofax personal size and I will be using these uh, file folders from Target to make some dividers. So I won't laminate them because this is already, it has a film on top and it's pretty sturdy. So I will need to laminate them and of course because I like to keep my dividers different um, so they don't need to last me for the entire year I kind of got tired of the dividers that I made with my craft um, pages so I'm going to go ahead and make some new dividers also I came up with a little way of doing a secret divider for your passwords. So I'm going to show you guys how I do those. The first thing I will do is use my file effects dividers to be my templates. I will have six di dividers as well. And also I will decide which one of the prints I want to be my front and then the next one so I have three designs I will have two of each in here I am just going to trace the divider in here and then cut them up and then I will come back to show you guys okay here is the first divider that I have I decided to go for the pocket dots and the only scrap I have is this and then of course when I hole punch the top so I'm gonna move on to the next one I am halfway done I have three dividers that are cut and hole punched already and they're ready and the other three have been traced so I will just go ahead and start cutting. I trace this one down here. So the first thing I'll do actually is just cut it with my scissors so I can manage the trimmer easier. Okay. That's a little bit off, but it's okay because I can always use the exacto. Well, this is a package opening, but it still does the job. And then I align it again and I go down here. For the little tab, I'm just going to use my scissors and go around my tracing and then just cut it off you know it doesn't have to be perfect like I said these are not permanent or anything like that so I can definitely you know just buy some other folders from the uh, one dollar store and then I can go ahead and make new dividers if um, if I want to do that so again I just trim it and like I said it was a little bit off here so I'm just going to grab my ruler and align this here and then I just trace it a few times um, you know the slower the, the more time you take with it the better it will look so there you go and then now I just grab my rapesco align my holes right here that I also traced hole punched and there you go so I'm gonna finish these up guys and I'll be right back here's my completed set of dividers I'm really happy with them 
So there you go guys, all you need is some cute folders, maybe some cardstock, double sided preferably if you would like to see a design on the other side. I'm totally okay with these just being black and so sort of um, off white cream color. I really like these um, dividers. So all you need is a template for what you want your divider to look like. Like I said, I just used the file effects dividers. You will need a hole punch. You can use a single hole punch like this to make your punches. You will need a trimmer, some scissors, maybe an exacto knife, and a ruler, and a black marker to trace your dividers. So I'm just going to put these inside my file effects and let you guys know how they look. So since these dividers are, are not laminated, they definitely take less tape in, uh, space in my rings. And also I think they go a lot better with my dividers from Barnes & Noble Punctuate brand. So I like that. I think I will change the goodies in here to maybe match more for um, on the black and white theme just um, for the divider part and the pocket part but I'm pretty happy with my dividers and now I'm gonna move on to my next little project I wanted to show you guys for this divider I'm gonna explain as we go what I've done is I have uh, traced a line in the middle of this uh, other side of my folder and then I've traced this time I'm using a pencil because I don't want to mark this divider too much since I am going to be using this side so what you do is you trace your folder on this side and of course like I said you have then uh, traced a line here and then you tr you turn your divider on the other side and you go ahead and do the same trace and now you end up with this I'm not sure if you guys can see it um, but I have this little dot that's the middle and then I already trace the divider there. I'm going to trim this now. Okay, so I didn't finish trimming it all the way so you can see this is going to be my divider. So now I just need to trim this part and trim the corners of my tabs. This is going to be a two side divider so in order for me to cut it I have to trim um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to cut it, so I'm going to mark this part here so I can fold it in half without a problem, and it could be a straight fold. So there you go. Now, I'm just going to, I really want it to be, okay. There you go. Now I'm going to finish trimming my divider. I'll be back. And here it is, guys. My last divider has the little tab cut out here. So it's a two divider. And inside, I'm going to keep a posted notepad page with my passwords. That way, people don't uh, know that they're in there and here you go guys all of my dividers completed these are <laughs> backwards I'll have to change that later okay and then my last divider is a secret divider which if you open my rings you will see 
that it's the passwords. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you guys how I made my dividers. Bye!